Hey Psych2Goers, first of all, we'd like to thank you for your support towards our channel. Our aim is to make psychology and mental health information accessible, and we truly hope we've helped you in some way. Now, let's continue. Do you know someone who sometimes seems emotionally closed off? Do your conversations seem repetitive and barely scratch the surface? Oftentimes, when someone is emotionally distant, it can cause hurt or confusion for the people who are trying to get closer to them and show them they care. For the one who is emotionally distant, there are different reasons why they might act this way. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you or someone else may have any mental health condition, we highly advise you seek help from a qualified mental health professional. With that said, here are six reasons why someone is emotionally distant. One, they might have depression or another mental health disorder. Do you know someone who is not only emotionally distant, but also shows signs of depression? It turns out there can be a large overlap between the two. Emotional withdrawal is a common symptom of depression, and that can cause someone to become emotionally distant, especially if the depression has lasted for a long time. If you believe a loved one is depressed and is beginning to withdraw, remember to not take it personally. It would mean a lot to them to be present and be there for them to offer your care and support and suggest getting help if their symptoms worsen. According to Healthline, emotional detachment may be a sign of other mental health disorders such as PTSD, bipolar disorder, and various personality disorders. Number two, they feel stressed. Have you ever been so stressed out that it's hard to feel anything else? you're not alone. According to medical news today, stress either in the workplace or in your own personal life can lead to something called emotional exhaustion. As the name suggests, someone who is emotionally exhausted might be less likely to express their emotions because they feel emotionally drained. At the same time, they might have a harder time recognizing the emotions of others. Examples of these stressors can include major life changes, working long hours, or having a baby. Number three, they have a fear of emotional intimacy. Do you know someone who seems to be scared to open up or tries to cover up their emotions? According to Very Well Mind, when someone has a fear of emotional intimacy, they have a hard time connecting with others on an emotional level. They may freeze when someone they're close to is crying or shut down when others talk about the way they feel. It's hard to determine a direct cause for this kind of fear because it can stem from many things. Among these are anxiety disorders, subsequent fears, and certain risk factors from childhood. Regardless, the effect is the same. People who struggle with emotional intimacy are often emotionally distant because it helps protect them and makes them feel more at ease. Number four, they have past trauma. One of the most common factors is emotional trauma from childhood. This could arise from neglect, abuse, or an upbringing that taught them to suppress their emotions. When it comes to emotional trauma, it can sit with you for a long time and cause you to become emotionally distant. Someone who is emotionally distant may not know how to handle the intensity of what was thrown at them at such a young age. And this trauma may have caused them to shut down. Sometimes the trauma might be something they can't pinpoint or remember, but the feeling sticks with them nonetheless. Number five, they don't have enough me time. Life can be stressful in many ways. Sometimes it's great to have people around to help you cope with your stress, but other times the only thing you may need to cope, process, and regenerate your energy is me time. According to psychologist Guy Winch, not getting enough me time can make someone emotionally distant because they may feel drained. If you notice someone close to you become increasingly emotionally distant, they might just need to spend some more time doing things by themselves. And number six, they don't feel comfortable. When you don't feel a connection with someone, it can be hard to open up emotionally, but sometimes this could happen even with the people you're close to. For example, you and a close friend or romantic partner might experience this emotional distance for various reasons. It could be because of insecurity, being too needy, or about falling out of love in your friendship or relationship. If you notice this, it might be beneficial to have a conversation with them before it drives you two apart. If you notice a friend or acquaintance of yours being emotionally distant, they might have their reasons for not fully expressing their emotions. It can be a confusing and difficult experience, but it's important to be understanding and patient since much of being emotionally distant comes from fear 
and discomfort. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the reasons someone might be emotionally distant today. Do you have any experiences with people who have been emotionally distant? Or did you relate to any of these reasons mentioned in this video? What have your experiences been? Let us know in the comments and leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.